Uh, here we are with Gypsy today. We're going to venture off a little bit to where some areas where she gets a little spooked, like around the barn area. And uh, just, you know, kind of work her through those things. She's really doing well with neck reining, especially in the round pen in the arena. She's doing really good with it out here too. Let's see. So her handle is there, her handle's good. We've got a great handle. We will do some two-handed riding out this way. Just because I know she does spook, she, she does kind of brace and flip out. So we want to be able to have ultimate control in these situations. Um, there's a pond on the other side of this. A lot of them spook kind of over towards that area. Just for the simple fact, there is snakes. There's, there's, I ain't gonna lie, there's tons of snakes over there. And uh, they sense them, even when we don't. So, we're gonna ride her here in this little area. This is kind of where, you know, they come at the end of this. So, she's kind of familiar with this. But, coming back up around this area, she's, she's spooked a couple times because of birds. And, uh... <clears throat> So we're going to see if we can get her to go around this side of the barn. There's a little yard over on the other side. We're going to see if we can get her to go in. And uh, maybe kind of close to the road to see some of the traffic. Come on. It's okay. Now this might not be a, a great ride. But we're going to work her through it. <clears throat> might have to be a little bit on of a defensive ride Nothing over there. Come on. There you go. Come on. Come on. You're good. Come on. All right, well, let's get your feet moving. You're fine. Keep going. You're good. There's nothing here going to get you. See? They're all good. Sometimes you just got to walk them through it, coach them through it. You just got to be patient. Don't go beating on them, <clears throat> making a ex bad experience. You got to, you know, just kind of let them figure it out. See? It's a big open space. It's just a big open space. Got a little yard here. There's some grates over there. It's okay. They ain't gonna get you. They ain't, they don't even move. You're okay. 
kind of like the walker this way. Start seeing some traffic. There we go. See the traffic? Nothing's hurting you. There we go. We got a child's lawnmower out here. He was mowing the yard. He said, Grandpa and Grandma are coming to visit me. I got to mow the yard. <clears throat> he did a good job. Don't it look good, guys? Did a wonderful job. Lawnmower ain't gonna get you. Don't even run. There ain't no gas in it. There we go. Blow that nervousness out. There we go. Look, there's more cars. Let's see the cars. Let's go this way and go head on towards the cars. Let's do that. This is good. These young horses get the, you know, the traffic and things that they're gonna get exposed to. You know, we want to expose them to as much as we can. The great thing about, you know, when you put a good foundation on a horse, is you don't have to be scared to ride it out here in the open like this. If this horse was to really spook and freak out and try to take off, I know without a doubt that I could turn her around and I could collect her up and I would be safe. And I know that without a doubt. It's okay. And so it, it's really important to put these foundations on them and desensitize them and you know really have their trust and really have a good handle on them before you get them out somewhere big in the open where they could just run off on you i don't just hop on <clears throat> any horse without driving it first and making sure i have a really good handle and then i don't go into a bigger area until i've ridden it in that small area several times and know without a doubt that i have a good handle on that horse a uh, handle is very important. Without a good handle, um, you know, you kind of set yourself up for disaster if the horse does spook or the horse does run off or the horse does freak out about it, anything. Like, see, she's, I keep her, I keep her right where I want her. She wants to reach out and kind of get uncollected, but I'm not going to allow that. And then that way she gets to where, okay, I can't go no further. And then she collects herself up. She just stumbled there, that ain't nothing. She didn't do nothing, that wasn't her fault or anything. There's a little drop right there. <clears throat> and uh, kind of hard to see in this grass. This whole place is on a downhill slope, so. Yeah, and of course she's trying to uncollect at the time I'm holding her collected when she does it, so. Didn't help much. <laughs> See, she's getting comfortable with all this. She's, she looks over there a little, but nothing major. And noticing the more I'm riding her out here in the open, the more go she's wanting to kind of get. So that's good. Let's just keep at it the way we are. Get her good and familiarized with everywhere and everything. We want her to uh, feel real comfortable. And she's going to get that go here real shortly. It won't. It won't take much. So we got to this little shady area. <clears throat> she kind of tends to look at this area and, well, eh, I don't really want to go that way. So we're going to try to get her through this way. A dead one. A dead one. Sorry, I had to answer a battery question. There's a hole here. I'm trying not to step in. She didn't want to go around the other way. She sees some of this tall grass and is nervous. We're going to keep her collected and on a pretty tight rein through here where she's nervous. <clears throat> there we go. There we go. Good girl. Sometimes coming back to this gate where there's a, a chore or two, she sometimes gets nervous about coming back through. That was good. That was good. Good. Yeah, that was good. You're doing good, Gypsy.
Come on. No, let's not stop. Come on. Uh, I didn't tell you to stop. Alright, come on. Let's go. Alright y'all, we're going to keep walking around a little bit, expose her to a few more things. This going to be the end of this video. Y'all thank y'all for watching, following us, and liking us. Y'all continue to follow us for Gypsy's progress, and thank y'all, and have a great day. Bye, Gypsy. <laughs>